Hey guys, Pyro here, and I'm pretty actually excited because NDS for iOS had a new update, it's got a new icon, and I'm gonna go show you it running Pokemon Diamond, so, yeah, hopefully, there we go, so we are running Pokemon Diamond here, let's go ahead and kill it, now, if you wanna know how to install it, all you have to do is just go to my website, and then scroll down to NDS for iOS, and just click install, and it'll say we really would like to install. And then it will install really, really fast. <clears throat> a lot faster than the old way I was doing it, which is really cool. I really like that. So let's go gonna open it up. And the new options are now you can actually, you do not need computer to add ROMs. Just click the little search button there. And it'll say Gobbledygook. And just click the first link. And then all you have to do is let's download. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. What do we want? Su new Super Mario Bros. Let's download New Super Mario Bros. It's a classic, classic game for my ancient child. No, just kidding. So as you see, it is downloading on the top here. I think I could zoom in. Hmm. Why is it zoom in so tiny? Whatever. It zooms in, but it's tiny. So it is zooming. Uh, zooming in. It is up. Downloading. <laughs> I cannot think of the right word right now. So this is pretty cool here. Uh, now there we go. Now we have two, a uh, couple options here. We have open in and open in NDS for iOS. If it does not say open in NDS for iOS, just click open in, and then click the awesome icon. And then wait a few seconds as it will open in NDS for iOS. So we will, we will have a black screen uh, because it's loading, and we do have new Super Mario Bros. So now also the new settings we have are. Hide controls and shift pad down, which you actually want shift pad down on. That's basically really much it. Um, sadly, there's still no sound, and don't complain about frames per second because it will be slow. Uh, it is not being fixed. Uh, that is being fixed, but it is. Play Mario game. <laughs> actually, is a lot faster on my iPad now, to be honest. It is supporting a lot faster, but there is no sound still. And, yeah, so that's basically it. The main cool feature about that is you can do it right inside of your iPad. You don't need computer to download ROMs now. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for the new quick update. Um, subscribe for more. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye.